What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we have got the AC Milan boosters. We've got Fortress Costa Corta. We have all-rounder, probably one of the most meta men in the game. This guy is going to be absolutely insane. The free version of Costa Corta. We will do a comparison of him in the live stream later, but just a quick build video of him, quick review. He is going to be Mr. Meta Man, honestly. I think Nesta is also going to be superb. He looks insane. He's got no real weakness. And any of his previous cards, you know, they didn't have the double booster. Now, I'm not saying to go out and actually spin. And lads, just as a side note, man, how beautiful would it be to have these retro kits as part of the pack? It would just be amazing. And you can see here, I always remember this kit. Dida, really liked him as a goalkeeper. But, I mean, I'm not too upset if I don't get Dida when you're searching for Nesta and Costa Corta. But, yeah, this pack is available for a week. And as I said, I'm not telling you guys to go out and get these players. You know, you don't really need them. I mean, the same way as you don't really need any players. But I do feel like that if you are playing meta, if you are pushing rank, if you are playing any of these, you know, high rank matches, or, I mean, everyone has different reasons for spinning coins and spinning cards, right? This Costa Corta does come with Fortress. I'm going to show you two quick builds of each of these, and then I'm going to show you Dida with a little bit more um, detail going into Costa Corta with the, with the live stream in a little bit. Probably about an hour will be streaming by the time this video goes up. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is Costa Corta. He's a defensive fullback which are obviously the most important CBs or left-back, right-back uh, players in the game right now. They haven't really changed that meta up. He's got the defending plus two uh, booster here as booster slot one and booster slot two. We're going to show you the best build for him in a second, right? But he's got every single player skill. You literally don't need to touch this card. And anything that you are doing with this card is just training him up to maximize how he's going to play for you. Now, the build that we're going to show you here, boys, is going to be an, an all-round kind of center-back uh, you know, main kind of center back kind of like um, card, right? So we're not playing him as a left or right, even though he's got 90 speed and 82 acceleration. We would want 85 acceleration and, and, and a little bit higher balance if we're playing him, um, you know, as a left back, as kind of like our main kind of attacking option going forward, or as a kind of a hybrid, you know, attacking defensive full back, right? But we've got Carlos for that. If you have got a really good attacking full back, this card here, 0028127120. Defending plus two, we're going to give him a dueling plus one as the booster crafter. If you want to train him as a position, you could train him as a DMF. He doesn't really need any skills. Honestly, as a CB, he has everything that you could possibly want. He doesn't really need anything at all, right? And then on top of that as well, his defensive stats, you are going to be getting everything where you want it to be. Now, this card, you might notice that he only gets 88 aggression. You don't really need 90 aggression with a player that's a defensive fullback. With a destroyer, yes. But I will go into that in a little bit more detail in the live stream. It's just a phenomenal looking card, lads, to be honest with you. Um, and one that I really like, right? Now, we also have Dida in this pack before we go to Nesta. Because, you know, Costa Corta does have Fortress. To be honest with you, I'll get into why I don't really raid Fortress too much. Um, especially as you go up the ranks. Because, you know, it's just harder to control games. And especially the way the game plays at the moment. Um, we'll get into Fortress in a little bit. But yeah. The free Costa Corta, if you have him and if you're beefed with him, you definitely don't break it if it's, uh, if it's or don't fix it if it's not broken, you know. Now, Dida is a defensive goalkeeper. He has everything, low punt, long throw, penalty saver. He's a big unit in goals. Will he kind of shake up that core foundation that I have of Czech, Schmeichel, David Seaman, Donnarumma, Courtois as the top five goalkeepers? Yes, he definitely does look good, right? Now, we're going to show you a build here from OC who got him and he spun for him. He had to go super deep, I think, for Dida. Goalkeeper awareness, catching, parrying, reflexes, and reach. It's a strong card. You've got 90 jumping, very, very strong card. Everything is pretty much where he wanted to be with a goalkeeper plus one uh, on his on his stats as well. Now, you could change him and, and have 99 goalkeeper awareness if you wanted, but I think this is probably the best version of the card. You've got 90 plus in every goalkeeper stat. The only one that I would potentially look at there is to get that goalkeeper awareness up a little bit higher, right? But he's got everything that you could possibly want from this card. Now, last but not least, we do have Mr. Metaman Nesta himself. I think Nesta's going to be in pretty much everyone's squads that spin him. Um, this card has no real weakness, lads. And on top of that, he's got one touch pass. He's got every defensive stat that you could possibly want out the Yazoo. And he has got a lovely uh, build and lovely style to him as well, right? So he's got a nice height. He's under 190 centimeter. He's under 80 kg. That's going to make a slight difference and a slight change to his physique. Once the players start going into the 80 kg, uh, range they do get a little bit heavier and bulkier to control now it's only marginal you won't only you know it's only a frame or two um but to go into that minute detail when you're top rank a lot of people will use nesta for that very reason because he's just so slight on the ball um compared to other kind of more lumbering center halves and the way the game has gone at the moment now it's gone very clunky in my opinion 
um, in terms of touches, like for the centre backs and stuff, right? Which can be a good or a bad thing depending on how you like it. But defensive awareness, tackling, aggression, and defensive engagement all off the rip. He's at 79 speed off the rip as well with his booster. Acceleration and physical contact are probably a little bit low if you are playing him anywhere but centre back. But that's exactly where you will be playing him, right? So this is the ultimate build. I honestly don't think that there's a better build than this with the Champs or with any of the top managers. If you want to give him true passing and soul control, have at it, but you don't really need to. This is the build. 0 0 0 3 3 9 14 1. So 14 into defending, and you're talking about 1 into goalkeeper 1, 9 into aerial strength, and then your dexterity and your lower body get 3 each. So it's a very, very good card, lads. I mean, if you look at it here, there's no weakness. Obviously, we're going to be getting the plus 1 with the hard worker booster crafting. That's going to give us 99, 99, 95, and 98 to his defense. Absolutely insane. Speed 85, acceleration 80, and of course that physical contact at 90, as well as jumping at 90, because we're going so high into that. Now, um, I will change the color of this as well there for the for the screen there, but that jumping and physical contact obviously should be in blue. So yeah, it's a, it's a phenomenal, listen, it's a phenomenal card, lads, honestly, it's a phenomenal card. I do think that Nesta is going to be used by pretty much anyone that spins him. Now the question remains, should you actually go for him if you have previous versions of these cards? If you have older Nesta or you have the other Costa Corta? To be honest with you, lads, being 100% honest with you, the free Costa Corta, I think, is probably the best player they've ever released, right? Now the new version does actually improve upon him a little bit, but it's not by enough that you're going to have to go deep. So... You know, it, it's up to you guys, honestly. it's it, The new booster is definitely going to be nice to have on as an extra stat, but it depends how deep you have to go. You know, if you do two 900 spins and you get him, happy days. But if you have to go deep, I think this free Costa Corta man is still going to be completely overpowered. He's so hard to shake off the ball. He's an absolute beast going forward with the ball. This one has got 80 pass, 85 low pass, or lofted pass, 93 header. We could actually train him slightly different and get one or two points back and throw him into something else if we wanted to. But yeah, it's a phenomenal, it's a phenomenal card all around. Definitely one of the best free ones. But we'll do a better comparison with that. And we might do a few, a few cheeky spins as well later in the stream, thanks to donations. But that is it for me. I will talk to you boys in a little bit in the live stream. And I hope to see you then. Let me know if you're going to spin or skip.